Welcome to Lakes. Today, our Lakes service engineer is installing the Lavanzo, consisting of the CAMS panel and hinged bypass panel from our Coastline walk-in collection. For ease and safety, we advise that two people assemble this product. Whilst carrying the enclosure to your desired location, make sure any packaging remains in place to avoid damage. Then, once you're ready to unbox the product, use a retractable knife with the blade no longer than the thickness of the cardboard, cutting around edges as carton directs. Unpack the goods, ensuring that exposed glass edges or corners do not come into contact with any hard surfaces. Whilst precautions are taken in manufacture, care must be taken when handling as rail edges may be sharp. Check that all listed parts and fittings have been included. In the unlikely case that you have damaged or missing parts, contact our customer service team. Before drilling into walls, check for cables and pipes and make sure that all surfaces are dry, clean and free from loose debris and dust. Ensure the tray or floor is level and that all base and wall joints are sealed and cured over the entire length of the sides prior to fitting the enclosure. The following tools and suggested health and safety equipment will be required for the installation. Lakes coastline walking enclosures are fully reversible. Versatile construction permits their use onto a wide range of base footprints, tray or wet room installations. During installation, protect the shower surface at all times. Now it's time to begin the installation process, starting with fitting the cans panel. When fitting to a tray, ensure enclosure is situated entirely on the flat surface of the tray rim. Wall profiles should be mounted on a minimum of 18mm inboard of tray edges. When fitting in a wet room, enclosure may be sited as desired in relation to the wet area within the size range of the product. Ensure a continuous silicon sealant bead between the tray and all walls before fitting the wall profiles. For all profile orientation, ensure the foam seal is outermost, away from the wet area. Measure, check plumb and mark the wall profile positions. Then drill, insert wall plugs and affix the wall profiles. Select hand for unit required for build. Trim is fitted at base only. Apply a continuous bead of silicone along the inside of the trim, then carefully push the trim onto the bottom edge of the glass panel. Butt the trims up to the vertical profiles. Do not bend or strike with hard objects. A soft mallet or hammer and wooden block should be used. For the CANS panel construction, locate the panel sub-assembly onto wall profile and push back to the wall. Check the panel length is as desired. The panel may be pulled away from the wall if required by a maximum of 15 millimeters. Ensure the panel is plumb and carefully drill with a three millimeter bit and screw the panel to the wall profile. With the unit in the desired position, after checking panels are plumb, parallel and square to the tray sides, measure distance between the back wall and the cans panel. This is measurement S. Then cut the bar to measurement S minus 10 millimeter and do burr.
Assemble the bracing bar onto the enclosure. Do not tighten clamps at this time. Lightly mark bracket positions on the panel. Align, plumb and mark all bracket hole positions. Drill, plug and then mount the wall bracket. Refit the glass bracket and tighten all glass clamp screws. Assemble bar and tighten all the bar clamp screws. Working from top or bottom, press in the cover section. Fit the cover caps to the top of the wall profiles. Lakes Coastline Hinge Bypass is fully reversible, so can be fitted to left or right hand products. Installation may be carried out at the same time as the cans unit or at a later date. Thoroughly clean and dry the edge of the glass, top to bottom. At this stage, it is recommended to check that the bypass panel will fit to the glass edge. In particular, check that the bottom hinge and gasket fit beneath the glass corner right up to the base trim. Check that the glass gaskets are fitted to both hinges. Then with the panel carefully supported, apply a continuous bead of clear silicone sealant along the entire length of the glass groove and into the hinge recesses. Align and push the bypass assembly onto the glass edge firmly until the aluminium is fully seated onto the glass edge over the entire height. Check that the aluminium is completely straight using a long, 1.5 meter straight edge or spirit level, but be mindful not to damage decorative finishes. If bow is present, the high areas should be pressed further by hand or using a block of wood for protection. This may be knocked on with a mallet or hammer until straight. Check door motion is smooth and free from resistance. Clean off all excess silicone sealant with a damp cloth or alcohol wipe. With bypass panel fully inward, apply silicone sealant to bottom hinge tray joint and across the base of the front of the panel and 50 millimeters up the vertical wall joint line. Leaving bypass panel inward, allow all silicone sealant joints to cure for 24 hours before using enclosure. Now your Lavanzo should be fully installed. For any further help or guidance, visit our website, lakesshoweringspaces.com or call our installation and customer services team on 01684 853 870. Thank you for watching.